King of the Road, the uh, Roger Miller Tribute Band. I'm going to go inside and chat with him here on kjagradio.com. Howdy ho, howdy ho, my name is John Mueller. I'm doing a Roger Miller show tonight at McPherson Opera House called King of the Road. We're going to honor and tribute the great legendary Roger Miller from Eric, Oklahoma, just for you. Now, John, talk to me about the show itself. It is just an amazing thing. Uh, what's it take to put something like this together? It takes a lot of work. Because the outfit, the hair, everything, you're pulling it off, my friend. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I like to dress up like this. Uh, um, no, it's, it's a lot of fun because Roger's music was just, just so much fun, you know. And um, he, uh, he's an amazing writer because he had the ability to write some really funny songs and uh, also the ability to write some really poignant, serious stuff that uh, we're going to showcase tonight, too. So that's pretty cool. That's cool. Now this is a full band show. You've got full band show. I got Mike Star on fiddle. He's from Los Angeles, California, and he's a renowned session guy there in Los Angeles. And uh, Ed Tutol Maxwell on bass, same thing. He plays with Nico, tours nationally with her. And then um, uh, Craig McIntyre on drums, a great uh, session drummer as well. That's he cool. plays with uh, Rita Wilson, Hank, uh, uh, Tom Hanks' wife. Wow. Tours with her a lot. So, so how did you get all these people in here? They all live near me, and I, <laughs> and I said, come on over. So, no, I was lucky to get them when they weren't uh, doing something else. So it was really That's good. cool. Now, uh, how do audiences respond to something like this? Do you have, what, what, what's your demographic that's coming to see this type of show? Um, you know, people that remember Roger, but also some young folks that uh, remember him from the musical Big River. Uh, he won a Tony Award for that, which is unusual for a country artist yep. to uh, have done so. And, and um, so it's a fun show. A lot of kids remember him from The Muppet Show. He did, he did a <laughs> song called The Hat Song that a lot of kids remember. And uh, so um, we're going to feature that. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, audience interacting great. They've been having a great time. That's cool. Now, uh, where have you performed the show at? Do you do small, you do basically theaters like this, or do yeah. you go around and do big stadiums, or what? Well, what's mainly the, like? little theaters like this, you know, anywhere from the 500 to 1200 seaters, and then we've done some casinos as well, where, where we perform a lot at Pala Casino in the uh, Los Angeles, California area. And then uh, and, uh, we're going to Ohio sometime. I think it's April, some little theater there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a fairly new show. We've only been doing it about a year and a half now. And uh, the response has been really good. So, What was the idea to get, to get this off the ground? And get I'm the just a big fan of like strong American singer-songwriters and American icons like Roger Miller, Hank Williams, Buddy Holly, uh, you know, Jerry Lewis. Everybody that's just been in our great catalog and history of music from the 50s and 60s. And, I uh, just love them all, and uh, I think they're, you know, Roger's music deserves it to still live and get out there, so I thought he'd be a, a good challenge for me, too, you know. I like to take on challenges, so. That's cool. Now, he won some amazing amount of Grammy Awards. I know we were talking about that on the radio. Yeah, 1964 to 65, about a span of a year and a half, maybe, uh, 11 Grammy Awards, and uh, <laughs> I mean, he beat uh, the Beatles out for yesterday with uh, King of the Road, and uh, pretty neat, so. Um, yeah, not a lot of uh, country artists won that many in, in one year. I don't think anybody has, so yeah. it's pretty cool. Now, what was the hardest hardest song for you to learn during Ooh, the show? Yeah, boy, I'd say that was uh, Engine Engine Number no. 9. It's got a lot of uh, chord changes and uh, modulates. He modulated a lot. It means he changed keys in the middle of the song. And uh, that was a tough one. Um, Husbands and Wives was a tough one, but a fun one to learn. That's a beautiful, beautiful song. Dude. We do that one as well, and uh, yeah, they're all fun. They're all a lot of fun. Yeah. With uh, the King of the Road, learning that song, how yeah. fun was that? That was great. And then, you know what? I, I didn't have to learn it. I just remembered it from uh, singing it as a kid. You know? So that was an easy one to remember. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that one's a classic. Everybody loves that song. Yeah. Well, what do you think of the McPherson Opera House with Soundcheck? Gorgeous. Soundcheck was great. The sound's beautiful out there. and. Uh, 
we're hoping to uh, tear it up tonight for sure. That's cool. Now, uh, do you do a lot of social networking with this show? Do you do you find people that are coming to this show use Twitter, Facebook, all those those things? A little bit. Um, they're kind of um, brought over from my winter dance party, my buddy Holly's show. I uh, yeah. have a lot of fans from that, and uh, I'm just slowly getting them converted to the idea of this show. You know, so. Uh, uh, yeah, but um, we don't have a King of the Road Facebook page yet. We probably should. I have a website. It's called kingoftheroadconcert.com, and uh, people can find out where we're at on that and uh, sign up for our email list too. So. Now, what's the the difference between this show? What's the main difference between this show and the Buddy Holly show that you do? Uh, the main difference, I'd say, is uh, we tell a lot more jokes because Roger was a funny guy, and um, of course, the main difference being it's more country music oriented than rock and roll per se. You know. Though so Roger had some, some pretty rock and beats here and there, but mainly uh, more of a country feel than yeah. uh, Buddy Holly. Yeah. Now, did you, uh, when you started putting this show together, did you study tapes? Yes. Um, yes, there's some great stuff out there on YouTube, and there's a there's a little documentary, I can't remember who made it, but uh, about something called the Roger Miller story, and I watched that a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's some funny stuff out there, and great, great footage. Uh, there's a great, great one of him singing with Ray Price, a song he wrote for him called Invitation to the Blues. Really good stuff. That's cool. Now, uh, before I let you go, what 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 is the uh, the for people that are watching this that are going to be seeing you coming around the country? What is the best thing about this show that you can project out there? I would out? say the best thing is just uh, it's one of those shows. It's very informal. Like you can uh, you can shout out requests. You can have fun with us. We love to feed and take back from what the audience has given us. You know, it's yeah. not a uh, a real uptight show where you have to sit there and wait for each song to fall and stuff. We, had people, <laughs> we played in Eau Claire, Wisconsin the other night and some guy was trying to, he was trying to request King of the Road, but he kept saying, play that four bit song, play that four bit song. And I, I was like, four bits? I don't know what he's talking about. So uh, we, we encourage audience participation even if we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, thank you for doing this, man. I appreciate it. My pleasure. How do we find you on the internet one more time? and the great folks at McPherson Opera House. Check them out on the internet, McPhersonOperaHouse.com. Thanks to our incredible crew here at KJagRadio.com. I'm Jiggy Jag, Jigman Freud, and we'll see you next time here on KJagRadio.com. <laughs>